Sigh of everything seen and unseen You're so powerful, you reign supreme You reign over darkness and cloudy days Over what's eternal and what passes away You reign over the universe, you reign over time You created sunshine You reign below and you reign above One love Cause our God reigns forever 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 Amen Our God reigns forever 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 Amen Help me see Our God reigns forever Champion, undefeated, you are the only one. You spoke the earth into existence, even creation obeys your wisdom. All of creation will one day bow, but the chosen acknowledge you now. Beginning and the end, Father and my friend, forgiver of my sins. One love, let's go! Our God reigns forever. forever. Hey guys, welcome to DU Live. We are glad to have you here. I'm Kiev. I'm Michael. I'm Kira. And I'm Tyus. So on a regular Sunday, you usually catch us right here at 3415 14th Street. But since these aren't any regular circumstances, we're coming to you in this thing virtual. And we are coming virtually with some fire. Yes, sir. You know, we, we are coming with, you know, powerful, important messages mm -hmm. from your very own DU Live crew and our awesome teachers. So tune in each week on YouTube at Northeast Bible Church Decision University. Mm -hmm. And also give us a follow on Instagram at Decision underscore University. Now, now it's time, time for the word. word. Good morning, DU family. Welcome to another episode of DU Live. You already know who it is. I'm Tyus. I'm Kira. Kevin. I'm Michael. <laughs> you threw the whole vibe up, bro. bro. <laughs> well, I'm going to go ahead and say it. I'm Mr. Tim. Yes, now sir, back. Mr. Tim. <laughs> Today we are going to be talking about finding our identity. Mm. Who are you? Mm. I'm not asking what your name is. I'm asking who are you? Ooh. And that we are we're not also asking what you identify as. We're just saying who are you? What do you what do you like? You know what I'm saying? Like what what is under like your skin? Like what what do you want to be? What what makes you you? Yeah. Oh, so I just I just want to start this out by saying just a quick little point. First thing that came to my mind when I heard the word identity. I think, ooh, <clears throat> ignore that. I think having a solid identity is like the best defense. If you know who you are mm. and you know what you're about, mm. then what can come and interfere with that, you know? You know what I mean? And what is mm. an identity we all share? Come on now, somebody say it. Christ. Somebody say it. We're Christian. Christ. Christ. So what does that mean for us, man? Uh, you know what I'm saying? We 
act differently, we talk differently, we move a different way, you know what I'm saying? Decision making skills different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so you have that identity and mm -hmm. then you also have the identity that you have in yourself. The thing, the, the key is to make them things align. Right. Oh, because mm. it won't be fake. And once you align them, you're going to move a lot better. Talk to them. We all speaking like, but then again, you, it, 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 it poses the question, how do I know who I am? How do I find myself? What do I identify as? You know what I'm saying? Um, if you really need to, you know what I'm saying, the best way to find yourself, in my opinion, is pray about it. Look hmm. through the Bible. You know what I'm saying? The best way to do it is go to Proverbs, in my experience, what I had to do. Um, you know, you find a whole lot of wisdom, and you find out you Proverbs. find things that you agree with, and you find things that you don't agree with. And you're like, oh, this makes sense. I've done this. I've done that. This is what I am. This you by like finding through the Bible and praying, you really find yourself. You're like, mm -hmm. this is what I am, because then you cut yourself off from all the negative things mm. that are going on in the outside world. And so once you do that, all you have left now, the best two things you have: God, the whole the Holy Spirit in Christ, for sure. And you also have yourself. You're like, I know me. And by knowing yourself as well, you can by knowing yourself and all of your issues and things like that, that's one of the greatest things because of the fact that once you know yourself, like you can give all you can wholeheartedly give everything that you're dealing with to mm -hmm. Christ. Right. And be fully able to do it because you know what's going on. And so, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna pass the mic Like he has said with your identity, you don't want others to see two sides of you. You don't wanna see you don't want others to say, Man, I thought you were a Christian. Mm -hmm. Or or even worse. I didn't know you're Christian. Because mm -hmm. I mean, you, you definitely weren't showing, like, you weren't doing the right thing. You weren't lined up with God. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You were showing them something else, completely mm -hmm. something else. So mm -hmm. you want to be able to make sure that people don't even question your Christianity. You want to make sure people know, like, I can trust on him. He's Christian. I, mm -hmm. I, I, I can glean on him because I know him. You don't want that. I don't know, man. He kind of fake sometimes. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's this yeah. way, sometimes yeah. it's the other. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, you have to be real, real on top of yourself with, like, yeah, and sometimes you're going to slip. You're going to slip up sometimes not thinking about it. Like, that is fact. You know, we're called to turn your shoulder or your cheek when you get hit. Sometimes, you know, you, you give them a weird eye or you might swing back on them just because it's like, you know, this is in nature. But you want to learn to control that. Mm. And it's possible. It's not impossible. It's possible. Very it's possible. Just, it's just hard. Very hard to do that. Mm -hmm. Let me just say this real quick. And I found an article. It was called Who You Are in Christ. So more than ever, we need to know who we are. Especially when we're talking about this day and time. If we don't know who we are, we're going to get lost. But the article, said, a, a, a snippet of the article said, understanding who you are in Christ will give you a strong foundation to build your life on. Knowing who you are in Jesus is the key to a success, successful Christian life and a life lived on purpose. Your identity doesn't depend on something you do or something you've done. Your true identity is who God says you are. And that was from an article, Who You Are in Christ, that I found. So... Who God says you are. Yeah. But Kira, did you kind of break down who you are? Or why it's important to know who you are in Christ? Um, it's important to know who we are so that we don't get lost in our purpose. Uh -huh. So I'm going to use myself as an example. Like some years ago, I was one of those bandwagoners. Oh, <laughs> like the one that like oh, went along yeah. with like... Whatever was popping on Twitter or Kick or whatever back then. Kick, <laughs> you want to know? You old. Yeah. Hey man, say man. Don't don't hate on her. I was one of them too. I was so one of them like, Dang. but it. I was like everyone has their bandwagon moments, but I really was one of those like, oh they. Uh, my favorite celebrity said this on Twitter. I definitely believe this. Kind of like what we we talked about in a previous lesson about following false information about following people i was definitely i definitely had that and it got to a point where i started having opinions that i was like yo what this don't even sound like you and eventually mm. i had to find mm. myself and realize who are you what what do you really think about this and when we follow the waves of pop culture whether it be bandwagon and all who your favorite NBA team is. Clothes. Or, clo yeah, clothes, music, celebrities, whoever in the celebrity beef. When we follow the ways of pop culture, we can often get lost in our purpose. Mm -hmm. And with that, Speak in uh, Romans 12, 2, it says, And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of mm. God. Okay. Speak on mm -hmm. it. Speak on it. You know what I'm saying? Like, like here, and I'm going to open up my mind, too. Yeah, you already know. Your boy was a follower. 
You know what I'm saying? At the age of the of the young, crisp age of 15, out here thinking that it was cool, because you know what I'm saying? I used to be a dancer, dancer, like for real. Like I used to follow Les Twins and stuff like that. And because of that, I was wearing my pants backwards, skinny jeans at that. They got worn backwards. And it was colored. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Skinny jeans. Man, well, you, you don't you ask skinny, like, skinny you, jeans. You brought like, that back? Ooh, you were really going about yourself. Oh, yeah. oh, most definitely. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't until, you know what I'm saying? I had, to, had a whole lot of talks. I had a whole lot of prayer. I had a whole lot of proper sections. A whole lot of roast. <laughs> and then, uh, you know what I'm saying? A whole lot of all of that. And, you know what I'm saying? My mama prayed for me. I was in the Bible, you know what I'm saying? Wasn't you, so, you had your mama praying for you because you were worried. It's over time. Give me some swag. Hey, bro, let it pour out, man. Let it pour out. It's hard enough. You're doing it. Yeah, exactly. Who, who wants to open the box? Yeah, let let him speak ahead. What, ahead, what, what went on in go his ahead, life at a young, crisp age of 15. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I had everybody trying to, you know what I'm saying? Because I really was trying to file myself at that time, you know what I'm saying? And we, we you know what I'm saying? It's one thing to, it's really easy to say, oh, I found myself. Nah, that don't take time. Like for real, it take it take a whole lot of time. I say at the crisp age of fifteen, that's what I started. It wasn't until very recently until I was like, you know what? This is this is what I'm here to do. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I'm comfortable now. You know what I'm saying? I know Facts. who I am. Mm -hmm. Like nobody can tell me nothing. That's mm -hmm. real tough. I ain't gonna buy no colored skinny jeans no more. But nobody can tell me nothing. And the way that I did that, I was in my bed one day. I was praying. I was reading the Bible. Yeah, I do that. You know what I'm saying? And so I was praying, reading the Bible, and I had my eyes closed. And I said, you know what? I was, I was, I was mad sad, and I was feeling mad sad over the course of like one month. I, I, I was having my eyes closed and everything, laying down on my bed on my back. I was like, you know what? God, you got it. Mm -hmm. uh, Come on now. Say. That's all you got to say. Come on now. You know what I'm saying? I was Surrender. Like, I was like, you know what? You got it. I, I, them skinny yeah. jeans really like, took a toll on you, man. You wore them too. And so I was like, God, you got I it. I and I was you know what? I ain't gonna try to do it by myself no more. You got it. And ever Come since then, bro, I'm a whole different person. Bro. Period. That's what's up. Yeah. You know what? You know what? Kia's point makes like me think of a point. You know, it takes a lot of failure and a lot of failed identities mm. to realize who you really are. Mm. Like, Mr. Tim, you you season. You probably know the definition better than I do. What is the definition of identity theft? Like, what what is that? Well, identity theft is when somebody tries to take on something that they're really not. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and they try to take it on and own it for themselves. So you think about identity theft, you're taking something that you're really not or mm -hmm. something that doesn't belong to you and trying to own that thing. So that's deep in itself. Right. Mm -hmm. So, so it, it, anybody over here, why would you feel so compelled as to stealing someone else's mm. identity because they ain't happy with the way they they ain't happy with themselves or they think they think Come the other thing is better for them other mm -hmm. than what god has for themselves facts mm. and, and so they sometimes they just don't right they just don't know better mm -hmm. yeah. i, was, I, was I, I did yeah, i didn't I know, know, know better. better i think that's everybody everybody has that moment where they're like man i think i want to do that it looks cool I, yeah i think i can do that and when they get through it they're like this ain't even what it is yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, this ain't fun. the move see you gotta <laughs> sometimes you have to be in it to realize you want to be out of it, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. so, sometimes you gotta. That's deep. <laughs> sometimes you gotta put yourself in the pool to realize you don't know how to swim. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's true. To realize that life that you want to live ain't easy. And wow. on top of that, one of the perfect things, uh, y'all know the story, Paul. Please correct me if I get it wrong. You got you. Paul was out here. You know what I'm saying? His identity. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Paul was known for killing Christians, right? What the tongue of Saul? Saul, Paul. Paul, same person. Yes. Yeah, and you know what I'm saying? He was doing, he, and then God, you know what I'm saying? God came up, and what didn't do this, and, and layman turns, all the thing. God was right there. God and Jesus was right there. Look up, couldn't see him. Mm. You're going to be blind until mm. you know it's me. Mm. And it's, it's funny because we talk about identities and stuff wow. like that, correct? We are. God, Saul's whole thing up until that time was killing Christians, right? And you know what I'm saying? I say this because it, have, it, didn't, it didn't happen to me like that. But you know what I'm saying? God changed that man's whole identity. Mm. He went from Saul, he went from Saul to Paul. He changed his name. And he, he was, was so on fire for the Lord afterwards. <laughs> mm -hmm. And that's what it says. You know what I'm saying? That, that's what I'm talking about. Like you it whenever you give your yourself to God and stuff like that, the change is such a noticeable change, it's mm -hmm. ridiculous. It's like a whole different identity. Because now you Come ain't now. you ain't doing stuff for you and yourself mm -hmm. no more. 
you're doing stuff for God and getting fired up Come for on, God, man. you feel me? And then on top of that, like, think about that. Like, think about that. I don't know how old Paul, Saul was, you know what I'm saying? I don't know how old he was. But the fact that this man decided at whatever age he was, when God came down, it was a complete different thing. First, that tells you it don't matter what you do. First and foremost, God is always going to love you no matter what. Mm -hmm. Facts. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you have, you're going to have to go through life doing things that aren't right. And you know what I'm saying? Sometimes it takes a little shove. It may take, you, might, you might get knocked off the horse. But when God, you know what I'm saying, when he says it's time to move, or whenever you just trying to be like, like I did, I, I, it will, me personally, God speaks to me directly. There is no move around the bush. You know what I'm saying? He'd be like, that's not supposed to be there. This is not there. You know what? I'm going to do this. Is, you want to do this? Well, I ain't going to let you do this until you come through me because I ain't going to let, I, nothing that you do is not, if it's not for me, it's not going to be prosperous. Mm -hmm. mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like to make music. And perfect example of this, I like to make music, and you know what I'm saying, whenever I make circular music, um, my music is not that good, and my freestyles, not that good. But, as soon as I start rapping about Jesus or Christ, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, off. Oh, it, it's like, it's just, woo. Flow. Yep. Flow. It's crazy. Oh, yeah. Like, I've been making songs by accident. I'm like, wow, this feels natural. The other one I gotta try real hard at. Mm -hmm. Christian music, natural. And it just goes to show, things that you do through him, and if you find your identity in him, you're going to prosper, for sure. Stuff's going to be so and much you know, better. You know it's through him a lot, because when, when it's something that you're truly not, and somebody hits at it or like pokes at it, it's like, man, you, you're not like that or something, you kind of feel the effect of it. You kind of like, you, you kind of get hurt. Mm -hmm. you, you feel it. But if it's something for God, and you know that God put you there, you don't you don't listen to that really like you without even thinking about it they would say man that's whack this and that you don't take it to heart you just like that's your opinion come on man. this is what I am this is what God called me to do yeah you weren't sure you, you don't get attacked yeah, yeah but when it's not something that you're supposed to be doing you start questioning yourself real quick like and you get defensive am I supposed yeah. to do that yeah and you get mad no. defensive so it's that's another way you can tell hmm. do you get defensive What's or are you like no I know I know this is me yeah like, when somebody knock me. at your stuff. Are you, you get real defensive about how, oh, no, nah, da, 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 da. you get real defensive about yourself? Or do you, you know what, that's me and I like how I am regardless. This is how God made me. Come on now. Because you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Come on mm -hmm. now. So that's, that's what I'm saying. Oh my me. goodness, bro. You spend heat so, so, and when you think about it, we've all had probably multiple surface level identities. Oh, right. yes. yes. And I, I just say surface level because I was once... You, let me just let me just speak on my younger days. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. Hold on. I, I was once I, I once tried to be tried to be and let's just speak facts. Tried to be a womanizer. Okay. I, I you know I thought I was super smooth and all of that. <laughs> you still got it. Man. Come on now. <laughs> 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 You got a wife and three kids. What are you talking about? I tried to be. still be smoother than Jiffy, though. That was smooth. That's student union for you. That's you. That's student union for you. Let me get one more time. Okay, yeah. Let me get that. But I once tried to be a certain way, but that was surface level. You see what I'm saying? You know, I once thought I was going to be the best cornerback in the world. Didn't even go to college on a scholarship or anything. But I thought mm -hmm. I was, a, you know, so we all have these surface level identities. Mm -hmm. But when God touches you, when mm -hmm. God touches you, when you, kid, when you had that moment, you said, God, you got it. Mm -hmm. Your life changes. It's important for us not to, to ride the waves of what everyone else is doing. Because we need to realize who we are in Christ. Mm -hmm. God has called. Who, so who said we're fearfully and wonderfully made? Yeah. Come on now. Misery. Come on, give me. Ah. You've been saying all type of stuff today. You know, man. God tells us who we are. Mm -hmm. And we've all had inklings of say, you know, as, you know let, let's just talk about what, we, what we're called to do in life. You know, we're called to spread the gospel. But as far as our purpose, you know, what are we, whether we're going to be a fireman or a lawyer or whatever. Mm -hmm. We've all had inklings about what we're possibly called to be. Mm -hmm. Pray on that thing. Find your identity. That's, that's important. And a, and a really big thing when it comes to finding your identity is that whenever, whenever, you're, whenever you don't have your identity, it, like the stuff that you do that you find is cool, the stuff that you do that you find is a trend, like deep down it actually hurts you. Like, mm. like whenever I was doing stuff that mm. I wasn't supposed to be doing, when I was trying to be stuff that I wasn't supposed to be doing, 
like deep, deep down, like at the core, I'm wondering like, why am I doing this? Like this, like it's, it's a physical hurt because you know it's not true. You want to be wow. yourself. Mm -hmm. Wow. You want to you want to live this way. Wow. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And it and it really does hurt you. And then whenever I gave it to God, I was like, I ain't hurt no more. You know what I'm saying? I ain't hurt no more. I feel really good. Like I'm a lot. More, I, I feel lighter. Right. Like it's like squat. Like whenever you're trying to be, whenever you're trying to be something that you're not, it's like squatting like a like a, a whole lot of pounds. Like my squat max is 300. All that stuff that I had on my back was like a thousand. And it's a constant way down. Wow. Because like wow. you actually like whenever you do stuff that you're not supposed to be doing, first of all, you hurt yourself. God gets sad. And trust me, conviction is, is something serious. Man. It's something serious. And so, like, I'm just saying, like, I want, before, you know what I'm saying, before we close out in, in like that, we don't, I don't think we got to close out right now. But, you know what I'm saying, like, I want to really challenge y'all, like, start praying more and stuff like that and really try to find who y'all are because the happiness that y'all find through God by finding out yourself is, like, one of the best Feel Amen. Facts. Amen. Ever. I'm Amen. Gonna tell you firsthand experience. Mm -hmm. And you know what? When you give it to Five God hours. and He really like lets you know what you're supposed to do, I think that's when you make that transition from follower to leader. Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. When you're when you're comfortable, you know, like this is what I'm meant for. Like, and you start studying, you start feeling like you know, like that, that, that coziness, yeah. like mm -hmm. that that reassurance yeah. Come from God behind you. That's when people start to follow you, you know? Whether you intend for it to be that way or not, when you're yourself, just naturally, you know, people are going to follow you. People are mm -hmm. going to want that. Because, you know, I've been there. I've followed people that are, you know, completely 100% themselves because they had, like, they were secure in their identity. Mm -hmm. And I was envious of that, honestly. Because... Like, they're just so unapologetic. Mm. Like, they're so, like, you know, they, they carry this confidence. Like, mm -hmm. they're not worried about this, that, or that. Like, I'm getting judged by this person. Or, you know, I'm insecure for this, this, and this. Like, that's, that's not any, like, mm. anything you would worry about if you're, like, not in your identity. But when you find your identity, those things kind of get pushed mm. aside a little bit. And you start focusing on other things. Correct. Like, how do I build myself after this, right? You're not working on trying to take those things away that you don't like about yourself. You're trying to build those things that you love about yourself, right? Wow. And that's what you love about being, a, like, a leader. Because people see that you're doing that. People see that, okay, like, this dude, he's, like, hardworking. And it, only, it seems like he's only getting more hardworking as he goes on. Mm -hmm. it, it, he's... he's motivated off of like seemingly nothing you know like where do you even find that motivation where do you pull that from like it's just in you when you know who you are i think that's like the biggest difference like being a leader and a wow. follower wow okay y'all drop some nuggets um kiev i just and we, we'll come right back to you but i want to mention something you said mm -hmm. you said it's like you're carrying extra weight mm -hmm. that was a nugget to me because when you think about being something that you're not, you're, you're, pat, you're, you're, you're carrying an extra few pounds or something, mm -hmm. and it's just, it's just weighing you down because you know you're not supposed to be on that path, mm -hmm. but once you, start, you stop carrying that extra weight, you know, you're stripping it down, you're stripping this mm -hmm. off, you're stripping that off, you can walk more freely in what you mm -hmm. are. So thank you for that nugget, mm -hmm. and go ahead and say what you were going to say, but let me give you something on that. Thank you. Uh. You know what I'm saying? A uh, couple of, couple of uh, episodes ago, Ty said that doing bad things is fun. Mm. He said, we love to do bad things. Bad things are fun. Um, to hit on that point, yes, bad things are fun. But after you get done doing the bad thing, how do you feel mm. after? Yeah. Yeah. After you do that, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm having a really good, in that moment, You may it may be real fun in that moment, but you're going to go back to the house and be like, man, I wish I never did that. Like mm -hmm. you, on the, you, on the surface, it might seem like, oh, you had the best time ever. I'm like, man, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you, 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 you get inside the room. You better go to sleep. Close your eyes, man. I, the regrets. Mm. I wish I wouldn't have did this. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And whenever you find yourself and stuff like that, you lose a lot of those thoughts. You, man, what? You do something that you want to do that's good in Christ. It's like, man, what? Say, man. Hey, man. Say, man. That was the best thing that I ever did. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then you go to sleep, and then on top, you think about it. You be like, man, that's still the best thing I ever did. You know what wow. I'm saying? Wow. That sticks with you. Do you let, let us know? Participate. 
I mean, participate. Make sure that you're telling us how you feel about what it means to find your own identity. So we want to hear you because you have a voice too. It's just not us up here. Mm -hmm. We want to hear your voice and how you feel about mm -hmm. finding your own identity or the process that you've gone through to find your own identity, your identity in Christ. Go, cool. Come on now. Okay, so it says, when you're a leader, you must be careful not to lead others down a destructive path. Mm. Mm. So like I said before, mm. when you're a leader, you have people following you. Like that's, that's what it means to be a leader, obviously. But like, just because you're secure in yourself doesn't mean that those insecurities and problems just go away. They're replaced with other problems. Not mm. problems necessarily, but Hassles. other responsibilities, right? You're responsible for all the people that are looking up to you. Mm -hmm. You're looking to be a good example. All, all of us up here, we're leaders, and we're mm -hmm. responsible for everybody that watches this. We can't just come up here and just tell them a bunch of nonsense, because then, like, exactly. they're going to think all they're that gonna, nonsense. Yeah. We're going to act off of that. On the cool, though, we, have, we haven't heard Kira talk that much. What you got to say, Kira? Well, I'm just going to hop on that. So I know you were talking about the definition of a leader, and also when you're a follower, um, sometimes you end up trying to be something you're not. Mm. So, like Taya says, we have people who, okay, I'll use me as an example. I have, like, a whole bunch of younger siblings. I'm the oldest. And so, the like, my, the Reed clan. So, like, my sisters, of course, look up to me because I am the older sister. And let's say they try to do everything that I do. But if that's not them, then what are they doing it for? Like, it's not really going to make them happy or it's really not going to fulfill them, they're just doing what they see me doing. Mm. So, you know, we, we really have to, like they said, we need to find ourselves in our identity. Like Kiev said, when we find ourselves, it makes things so much easier because it's hard trying to be something you're not. Like it may not seem hard, but you're, you're gonna be mentally or spiritually exhausted mm. by trying to That's be good. someone That's who good. you're not. Spiritually exhausted. You know, a, way, a good example for some people, for a couple of y'all, y'all might be introverts. It's like if you're introverted and you go to do a social event, when you come home, how do you feel? You feel just drained. 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 Mentally, physically drained. And so a lot of y'all choose not to go out to social things but or rarely do that. So it's like, why would you want to live your life like drained constantly why would you mm -hmm. want to do something that you're not supposed to do that mm -hmm. you're not made to do and a lot of y'all know you're not supposed to be doing it and made for it that there's another way for you but you still choose to be somebody else mm. that you're not supposed to be constantly drained instead of being able to have that sense of peace and like this is what i'm supposed to be doing and enjoy life and enjoy the things god wants for you because it's That's like good. why good. it's like why would you want to choose pain over like love mm. yeah uh kindness mm. Like just fruit of just the spirit. spirit. Like, mm -hmm. why would you do it? It's it's easy to say, but like when you're in that moment, you really have to catch yourself because mm -hmm. it comes at the most random moments where it's like you don't even think about it, and it's like, wow, I th th that seemed like an easy decision if yeah. I would have just mm -hmm. thought, if I would have slowed down and like, hey, I should have just thought and did that instead of That's doing good. this. You have to go off. You can't just go off of reaction. You have to constantly be mentally. Thinking. That's good. That's good. I'm going to mention a, a Bible reference, and, and it's mm -hmm. kind of re relevant to the topic. It's out of the book of James. James 3, 1, it says, Dear brothers and sisters, not many of you should become teachers in the church, for, for we who teach will be judged more strictly. Mm -hmm. So when you, th you think about a person being a leader, mm -hmm. and especially those of us of the Christian faith, if we're leading something, just remember people are following us. Mm -hmm. So if people are following us, uh, what, once again, we're, we just want to make sure we're not leading them into a path of destruction. Right. What are we leading them to, life, life. or death? Right. Correct. Mm -hmm. What are we leading them to? Our, our words, and once again, I keep saying this, our words have power. So sometimes people are, they, they hang on every word people say. Mm -hmm. You know, your, your younger siblings may hang on every single word you say. My family may hang on every single word I say. Oh, dad said it. My wife might say, oh, well. My husband said it, so let's do this. We have to be careful that we're not leading them down a destructive path. Remember, people are following us. Another Bible reference, Psalms 118.8. Uh, it is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust people. Mm -hmm. mm. And then also. So remember who we need to follow. Go ahead, Gia. 
another he he was talking about leaders and things like that. You know what I'm saying? There are uh, when he when he was said uh, uh, the James three one verse. He said like he said the three the, um, people in the church. Some people are shouldn't. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Not many people should become teachers and things like that. It doesn't mean that you will. Please do not get the misunderstanding that everybody has to be a leader. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's great to be a leader. Some it's sometimes you know what I'm saying. If we being real honest, if we being biblical about it. We're all followers, the followers of Christ. If we're being all, if we're, you know down. what I'm saying. Break and you know, for the leaders, yes, be a great leader. Lead the people that you that are following you to Christ and things of that nature. Be a, be a great role model. You know what I'm saying. But for the people that are following, pay attention to who's leading you. Hold them accountable. Because a leader is only is a leader is only as good as his followers. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So whenever the followers hold him accountable, that is what makes a good leader. A leader is not somebody that tells somebody to do this and do that. A leader is somebody that understands how it feels. Perfect representation of a leader is, you can't say Jesus don't know what we're going through. Jesus went through Come on way now. worse stuff. Facts. Come on now. You know Speak on it. Way worse stuff. His own people crucified him. His own people. He was inside it like... They put a whole entire, it was like a robber or something. Some other criminal was put beside him, and they was like, the criminal or Jesus? Jesus didn't do nothing. It was like, Jesus. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And so that just goes to show, when it comes to stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? He endured everything for us. He endured stuff with us, for us, because wow. he loved us. You know what I'm saying? That's what a leader is, somebody that endures with you. Mm -hmm. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? A leader is not somebody that tells somebody. That's a, a boss. The difference between a boss and a leader. You don't want to be a boss. You want to be a leader. The big difference. Boss, go do this. Go do that. No experience. Leader, I'm going to help you with this. Keep me accountable if I'm wrong. Please. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Speak on it. Jesus, ultimate leader. He didn't need us. He didn't need us to keep him accountable. He already knew. He, mm. he came down here on point. Mm. Left on point. Going to come back. On point. Mm -hmm. On you know point. <laughs> work. Or whatever y'all was doing. Work. So, um, <laughs> work. <laughs> what is the main reason? or How can you really find your identity? We know that's in the word of God, but mm -hmm. why do we conform to the ways of the world? And, and you know, when we were uh, having our discussion, there were a few nuggets that were dropped. Uh, there, there were a few nuggets that were dropped, but come on, Mike. I'm going to what you're saying about why do we conform to, uh, conform to the world? Because Kier brought it up. Uh, Tides bring it up. It's fun to do bad. Mm -hmm. or it's, not, it's not necessarily fun. It's easy. And it's very, it's very easy. And everybody doing it. it. So mm -hmm. it's like, it's if he's doing easy. it, why, why, why can't I do it? So it's really easy. And that's going back to you have to be mentally focused or disciplined enough to realize. That's right. Like, like I'm even, built different. Yeah, even right. if you're the only person doing that. Mm-hmm. You know better. Come on, now like, about it. You know, like, if your group of friends is going, I don't know, do, what do y'all do to cut up these days? Uh, whatever y'all, skip class. You know you're supposed to be in class because you got a test on Thursday, man. And then? You know you're supposed to log into your little uh, Zoom and go to your little meeting because you can't miss this lesson. Uh -huh. You feel me? Like, why? what compels you mm. to act up? To, to be with your little friends? Your, your little friends, they might not graduate. You try to graduate. Is that what you want? It don't matter if you have good grades either. Because you, you bought, like, you're supposed to be in class. You can't be like, oh, it's easy. I know this class. I know the test. I know mm -hmm. this. It's easy. You think it's easy to you fail? Yeah. But not in that. Bro, some people are naturally smart enough where they would know, like, I don't need this. I'm smart. But the fact that you're supposed to be in class, that's what you're mm -hmm. supposed to do. So you're hey, still yeah. doing it. And then you're losing that discipline. Hey, yo, hold on. Get this, though. Get this, though. If you think about it, well, like, living like Christ in school is the same thing. Think about it. Talk to me. Good grades uh -huh. does not, good grades does not just get you through school. That's facts. Doing good deeds does, does not get you to heaven. Come on you now. have to actively Come be on in school, going uh -huh. to school on a daily basis, uh -huh. being correct. Discipline. To graduate. And to be a good Christian, to go to heaven, you have to actively be go, go doing the things you're supposed to do, living the Christian life on a daily basis. That's facts. To go to heaven. Come on, and then the second thing I got to say. Wait, I don't know if people forgot it. I, I thought but, you but, cut up, man. but the fact that you said it's a daily thing, the Apostle Paul 
says he had to die to flesh on a daily basis mm -hmm. because we know that that's a it's a daily fight that we have mm -hmm. so the fact that he said that I had to die daily mm -hmm. just just brings a point on that it's a hard fight it's not a fight that we just accept Christ and you know what <sighs> I'm gonna sit back and just chill nope. because if, if we've accepted Christ as our personal Lord and Savior that means we usually have a drive Right. To bring others to Christ and, and to make sure other, others are going down the right path. Mm -hmm. So it is a daily fight. So I'm glad you said that. Also, the, I remember the second thing I got to say. The second thing I had to say was, think of it like this. Mr. Tim said, why do some people like to, you know what I'm saying, not like to fake their identity? Think of it like this. You're in class. You got a pot. You're molding your pot. Mm. You don't have, by yourself, keyword, by yourself, you don't have any inspiration. And you just, Matt, you just, mm. you know what I'm mm. saying? Don't get to it, man. I already know You know what I'm saying? By yourself. But then when you add Christ and stuff like that, you finally able to mm -hmm. make the correct pots. Mm -hmm. Your pot is now able to wow. hold water. Your pot has value. Wow. Come on now. Wow. You're you know what today, I'm bro. <laughs> you know, so that's, that's how I think about it. Another nugget. <laughs> <laughs> Kiev Nugget Murray. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Drop <laughs> nuggets. So, and I know we're getting towards the end, but we've been talking about not being, uh, finding our own identity and not being a follower. You know, in studies, we were talking uh, between a few of us, and, and Miss Tris dropped a nugget. What's she yeah. dropped? She, she just kind of dropped one on us, and she said, you know, is it right to conform and be a crowd follower when we're called to stand out? Mm -hmm. We are peculiar people. We're called to stand out. Mm -hmm. We are like the house on a hill right. that cannot be hidden. We're mm -hmm. called to stand out. And then Mr. Lewis came back around and dropped about, it may have been about three or four nuggets. And, you, you know, he kind of just peeled it back and said, you know what? He said it's a hard thing, but we are, we are created to be in community. And, you know, he talked about, Mr. Lewis talked about a herd mentality, mm. you know, p because we want to belong to something. That's just honest. We want to belong mm. to something. And he also said, you know, he said, finding your identity is hard work. It is. It's not easy because we just talked about it. Mm. You know, you know, we we might be this way for a while. We might be this way for a while. And then we have when we have the uh, God, you got it moment. That's when it happens. Speak on it. Somebody speak on it. Um, really quick, I just want to say a verse. First uh, Peter 2 and 9 says, But you are not like that, for you are a chosen people. You are royal peace, priests, mm -hmm. a holy nation, God's very own possession. As a result, you can show others the goodness of God, for he called you out of the darkness into his wonderful Come on now. light. Mm -hmm. So not only did y'all hear for us, from us that you're not supposed to conform to the, conform to the world, but it's right there. Like, the and it's not... Like we said, finding your identity is work. It's not easy. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to really dig deep. And like he have said, you're going to have to be vulnerable to God and be like, yo, God, you got this. Mm -hmm. Because like he have said, with the pot, without God, you can't mold yourself, your identity, mm. none of that. Come on. So, yeah. That's also, you know what I'm saying? Just like I said, the, the whole pottery analogy about how by yourself, you can't, you don't have anything. But whenever you get God, you know what I'm saying? The best way to think about it is faith plus the pro faith plus the process equals the, the promise. promise. Mm. Come on now. So mm -hmm. have Come faith on. in yourself. The promise is gonna help you make the vase. You know what I'm saying? And the thing that give that grants you the worth is the promise. The thing that makes you valuable, that's gonna make your pots valuable, is the promise. Mm. Mm. Come on now. Because you and yourself Without anything, anything in that, without anything in that equation, is not going to equate to anything. Mm -hmm. That's Come right. on now. You know what I'm saying? You have no faith. Come on now. What are you gonna do? What are you, what are you gonna produce? Why would people follow you if you have no faith? Correct. It's Thanks. like, it's like you never see anybody on any sports teams, choirs, anything. They have faith. They know what they can do. They, they know their ability. They have faith of what they can do. Why would you do something if you don't have faith in it? Mm. Why, why, some of you, for y'all who play football wow. or basketball, wow. why would the coach call a play to a player he has no faith in? Mm. Wow. It's Steph Curry. That's deep. Steph Curry has gone to one for 18. On that 20th shot, or they, uh, yeah, that 20th shot. No, no, 19th shot. Come on, my math is bad. <laughs> He's still shooting it like it's going in. He done missed 17 shots. 
and he's still shooting that 19 shot like it's going in. That's faith in yourself. Mm. He gonna That's turn right. around on you too while he do it. Mm -hmm. That's you know faith in the process because mm -hmm. he he's 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 built up a, a system or whatever, and he, and he's he has faith in what he's built up. You know, and and before we close, we just have to remember the key is who are we gonna follow? Who mm -hmm. are we following? Right. Correct. Are we following Jesus or man? And you know, we talked on another session about you know people following a certain person or whatever. You know, and we know we have the desire to belong to something. But think, we also talked about, you know, the herd mentality, wanting to be a part of something. And somebody mentioned the fact that uh, we talked about leaders and things like that. Sometimes you have gangs. You have leaders of those gangs. Sometimes you have um, um, the, the shade rooms, and we have everybody saying this or that. But the key is, once again, who do we choose to follow so we can identify who we really are. There's only one answer. There is only one answer in that. Mm -hmm. And who is that? Christ. Christ, Christ Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Because faith plus the process equals the promise. Mm -hmm. If we have the faith and we have the strength to go through the process, God will deliver his promises. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 With that being said, with that being said, do we have anything else, student union? Before we close this thing out. Good morning, DU. We are your Decision University leadership team. I am Miss Trisha. I am Miss Audra. And I'm Miss Kim. And we are DUL. Uh, no. What to myself? Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> good morning. We have some exciting news for you this morning. So, beginning in February, you will have the opportunity to win $300. Three. Yep, you heard me right. Three hundred dollars. What? <clears throat> what do they have to do, and can I do it too? Uh, no, ma'am. Miss Audrey, tell them what they have to do. <sighs> Thanks, Kim. She's doing too much. Me. Me. <laughs> You're doing too much. Me. There are three steps. The first step: you must invite three of your friends to like and subscribe to Northeast Bible Church Decision University. Number two: you and your three friends must watch DU Live on Sunday mornings at 10. Number three, let us know that you're with us by um, saying good morning in the chat and your guests must tell us that you were the one that invited them. Now, Audra, mm. are you sure I can't get on on this? Cause I got about five no, no, no. friends that- No, I, no, no, huh? no, 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 no girl, uh-uh. No. It's only for 12 through 18 years old. Audra, go ahead, tell them the rest. Appreciate it, Kim, mm -hmm. Miss Trisha. Okay. Each week, you will be able to win $25 for having the most guests. Um, we will announce the winner at, each, at at the end of each broadcast each week. But guess what? There's more. There's more. Participation is key. If you are answering questions with us each week, you will be entered to win $75 via cash app. Okay. What? Okay. $75? Okay. Okay. Now, don't worry if you don't have cash app. We will gladly mail you a $75 gift card in the mail. Now, Kim, mm -hmm. tell them what else we got. Okay. okay. So, as you guys know, due to the pandemic, we have not been able to meet in person. Thank you for watching live uh, with, with us live on DU. Um, we've prepared a wonderful place for you to come back to yes. worship. Yes, yes, yes. We will be watching to see who is participating with us online every week beginning in February. Those people will be entered into our grand prize of $125. What? $125? What? <laughs> yes. yes. I don't want to do it to y'all. <laughs> what? So, Kim. <laughs> yes. So how will they know when that date will be? They have to continue watching um, DU Live every week. Look for it in the announcements. So there you have it, DU. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, no cap. <laughs> I ain't know I, what the kids no, say. No, I don't know. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. DU, mm -hmm. think of who you would like to invite because the fun starts in February. So I think that's all the news that we have for you today. Um, are there is there anything else, ladies? No, nope, nothing I that's can it. think of. I think that's it. Okay, well, do you? You have a blessed week, and we will see you in the chat. Bye. Bye.
with that being said, you know, we're going to go ahead and close it. We're going to go ahead and close out in prayer. But remember, find your identity in Christ. Know who you are. That's what it's about. Because once we find him, we find ourselves. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Go ahead and pray us out. Mr. Tyus. Yes, we can bow our heads and close our eyes. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for getting us all here safely today. I pray that everything we just dropped today has some type of effect on somebody's life. I pray that we can all retain this information and have it uh, applied to our lives in the way you want it to be applied. I hope everybody continues to have a great day and has a great week following. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. 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 We are out. D.U. Adios. You got to